I am going to show you how to record a StoryCorps interview using a desktop computer or a laptop. First, make sure that you are at StoryCorps.org. It's spelled S-T-O-R-Y-C-O-R-P-S dot org. Next, you'll click on Participate. Then you'll scroll down and you'll see that you have the opportunity to click on StoryCorps app or StoryCorps Connect. With the StoryCorps app, you can use it on a mobile device or an iPad, or if you're going to use a desktop computer or a laptop, you would click on StoryCorps Connect. So let's click on StoryCorps Connect. You'll scroll down and then you'll click on Record Your Story Using StoryCorps Connect. Now, you will either log into StoryCorps to continue, or if you need to create an account, you'll click on Get Started and create an account. Let's click on Get Started. You will provide your first and last name, use your student email address for email, create a password, put your birth date, and remember, you can only participate if you're 13 years old and your legal guardian has read and agreed to the terms of use on your behalf. So when you're done, click Create Account. If you already have an account, you'll click Sign In. You'll type in your username, a password, and remember me if you are using your personal device. So let's click on Login. Now you can share this link right here with the person who you'd like to interview and you'll receive this message. It says invite link copy to clipboard. You'll click on OK and then you can paste it in an email or maybe a Hangouts chat or you can type in your interview partner's email address which I've typed already and click on invite via email. Now you wait for your partner to open the link during the interview time that you two have set up. Your interview will look like a Zoom or a Google Meet. However, it's only going to record the audio. It will not record the video. Let's wait for my interview partner to click on the link so that we can practice recording. Hi, Sam. Thank you for joining me for this interview. Hi, it's good to see you, Andrea. Okay, so I'm gonna press record in a bit and each one of us are going to introduce our name and our age, and then I'm going to say which city we are recording this from, okay? So I'm gonna press record. Right. Here we go. Hi, my name is Andrea Cabanas, and I am 39 years old, and I'm interviewing Samantha Borcherding, and she's my colleague. I'm Samantha Borcherding, I'm 34, and I'm looking forward to this conversation. All right, we're recording here in San Antonio, Texas. Here's my first interview question. When you finished your interview, click on stop recording. And then it says, do you really wanna stop recording? Click on okay. And then you click on save interview to archive. Now you're going to wait for it to process. And then right here, you can enter a title or a quote from your conversation. I'm going to title it Samantha. Orcharding and Andrea Banyas. Then I'm going to add a summary or description of my interview. Then I'm going to put who participated in this interview as well as their email address. And then you can type in keywords about the interview. You can also enter languages, people, places, and then a company or organization, as well as the recording location. Then you can choose who can listen to this interview. It can be public, where anyone on the web can view it, the StoryCorps community, where it's only available in the StoryCorps archive, or it can be private, where your interview and related information are private. So talk to your parents about whether you'd like it public in the StoryCorps community or private, and then save to archive. You will receive an email similar to this one right here that says, your interview has been uploaded to the StoryCorps archive. It could take a few hours or it could take up to three days for your interview to upload and receive this email. Let's click on go to your interview. You might need to log in in order to access this page. However, since I'm already logged in, you can see my audio right here. And then you can see screenshots that were recorded from the interview. If you click on play, you can hear the audio. My name is Andrea Cabanas, and I am 39 years old, and I'm interviewing. If you click on the share icon right here, I recommend downloading your audio. 
If you download the audio, then you can upload the audio to Schoology or Google Classroom or even Flipgrid to share with your peers. You can also click on the link to the story and then you can copy and paste that in an email or Schoology or other type of learning management system. You can even post it in Flipgrid as well. The only problem when you share the link is that the recipient has to log in to StoryCorps or create an account if they do not have a StoryCorps account in order to hear the audio. You can also share your interview on social media with your friends and family, and you can even embed the interview on a Google site or any other type of website. Another way to access your audio recording is to click on your user profile, click on My Interviews and Profile, and you will see that I have three interviews right here. If you click on the interview with you and your interview partner, you can view it anytime. I hope that you have a lot of fun interviewing someone who is important to you, and I cannot wait to hear your stories in StoryCorps.